here at the arena in San Juan. Zihar Fasho with that wonderful serve, finding the line of the corner to give them an 8-2 score. Just to go back to Anne's point, mga sinabi natin na Coach Roger, of course, sinasabi mo, planned naman yung nangyari dahil nga doon sa Contercia na nangyaring two Fridays ago that all that included Fortunately, Coach uh, Roger and did not show up because he was healing mm -hmm. from, uh, you know, all of uh, the injuries. And uh, dun sa laro na yon, may mga pagkakataon na nakikita mo yung Ateneo, they're crumbling. Yes. And that's why I asked the question about, yeah, you have a capable assistant coach and uh, nandun din si Charo Soriano who obviously knows these girls very, very well. But Coach Roger at the helm may have made a little bit of a difference in terms of calming them down or maybe changing things up? You know, being the head coach and, you know, with, uh, not to take away anything from the coaching staff, yes. but it's different, the confidence, the Amen. feeling of the players when they know that the coaching staff is complete. It's really different. And, you know, during those uh, crucial moments, yes, oh, your head coach can actually uh, take those uh, risky uh, calls or uh, risky uh, changes. Correct. And, na, na alam yun, posibleng, uh, Paiba ng laro. Paiba ng laro. Uh, uh, again, you know, no disrespect to all the assistant coaches out there as Kai Dupomuseno attacked from the back line. The point is, sabi ko nga, a head coach for a reason. Diba? There's a head coach for a reason. It would be easy to, uh, it, if you would relate it to all the players. It would be different if you have your starting six and Correct. all of a sudden somebody gets sick, yes. you feel then somebody new. You train with each other during training, it's still different yes. if you have the original six. Uh, versus, you know, replacing it with somebody yes, else. You're, you're prepared for anything that happens, but as much as you can, you like to come in with full weaponry. Kumbaga, no? As a tip. Jeff Ferrer, something she has mastered in uh, years that she has played here in the UAP, the former Hope Christian High School standout. Phil Kinglet now. Galit dito si Coach Francis. I think nagkaroon ng problema sa substitution. Ano, as Tessa adjusts in mid and gets them a 7-8-11-4. Open spot. Again, new side. Phil Clet. Originally from uh, St. Scholastica. College. Getting another point in this case. It's Francis. Not too happy at the sideline as Byron will come in. He wants a good pass. Let them a chance to score a point from offense. Byron ng nag receive. Share ng kubua. Share ng pumuntos dito. So tithing on the substitution. Na gusto ni pasok ni Coach is a play earlier pa. That's uh, Byron. Michelle Byron. Received it. Attacked it. Hold on. Went for the ball. Well, they have to put a stop to Ateneo scoring this early on. Mahirap kapag ka lumaki pa yung lamang ng Ateneo. Bad reception. So, Phil, easy over for NU. Oh, and another free ball, though. Quick. Actually. And you scrambling here. Byron. That's Outside underneath the ball. 13. She knew it. That, uh, I think he was snapping the wrist. I'm out to Coach Francis Dito. He's at a point, eight point. Let's listen. natin yung depensa nila. Ano bang hindi mo maintindihan doon sa depensa? Nakabuka sila. Bigay mo. Nakahaba mo yung bato. Short mo, drop ball. Come on. M minsan, pa naglalaro ka, nagtapasisyon ng gano'n, kailangan. Have to think. Anong gagawin mo sa susunod na execution? Hindi puro power. You have to use your head for you to win. Pwede ba naman nag-aaral? Masaka, hindi ka mag-aaral. 
Chip. Well, Coach Francis there, reminders for uh, Byron and uh, the team in general to play smarter here in the opening as you uh, saw the president of Ateneo, Jeff Villarin. Jeff Villarin, sorry. Byron now, this time a set. The set is a bit low, but yep. uh, what a parano. This. Then you takes it. And they go up to Byron again. Byron. Outside him. Coach Francis coaching actively on the sideline almost every play. Six serving 13. So it's six serving 13. When this batter of rookies for Ateneo came in, talagang nag Matunog na pangalan talaga at unang pinuntahan talaga si Zihar Vasho. Mm -hmm. She was the one. I mean, Jem Ferrer obviously was there. Being led. Phil was, was there, very, but... Very was... interested. Uh, walang pang power. Gretchen Ho was a crowd favorite and she would give you now and then yung quick points. Mm -hmm. But the go-to girl was Zihar Vasho as we see a rotation error here. So a point will be given to Ateneo to add to the woes. Oh, the Lady Bulldogs here. And Coach Francis still remains at the sideline. 15, serving 6. Ayan, nakakagulo. Gulo siya. Service, number 7, Ateneo. A, Nakachi. Nakakagulo. National University, ah, dun sa kanilang rotation. They're confused right now, see? They go, are going to be taken a point away. Sorry, taken a point to Ateneo again. And this is something that, uh, you know, you, you don't want to see from your team, especially... Level of, uh, Technical timeout. 16-6.